in the future. Conservative Prime Minister David Cameron has outlined how he plans to slow immigration to the United Kingdom. Proposals include stopping migrants claiming benefits for children not living in the UK and removing migrants who fail to find work after six months. Mr Cameron wants to make sure that those coming to Britain pay into the system before taking money out. EU migrants should have a job offer before they come here. UK taxpayers will not support them if they don't. And once they're in work, they won't get benefits or social housing from Britain unless they've been here for at least four years. The Prime Minister now has to convince other EU leaders to support what he calls his reasonable proposals. Currently, the EU, which is made up of 28 countries, operates an open-door policy, meaning that people can move to wherever they like. My very clear aim is to be able to negotiate these changes for the whole EU, because I believe they'd benefit the whole EU. They take account of the particular circumstances of our own welfare system, and they go with the grain of what other member states with high numbers of EU benefit claimants are considering. Mr Cameron's speech on Friday morning at a factory in the West Midlands follows the release of immigration figures yesterday, which showed that net long-term migration to the UK rose by 43% in the 12 months to June. If other EU leaders don't back the proposals, the Prime Minister hasn't ruled out Britain leaving the EU, something UKIP, the UK Independence Party, believe is the only option for Britain. Their popularity has been soaring since the European elections back in May, when they won 24 seats in the European Parliament, largely down to their tough-on-immigration stance.